Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. <clears throat> Hello students. Greetings from Learn to Lead Academy. Thanks for 2023. The super fast crash course. Your admission open. Those who want to enroll for this batch, key the description box and our registration link. So with that, uh, you can register for that crash course. So in the crash course, the advantages you want to know your videos. So 90 percentile and above on this score. For no top colleges, if on the Tamil Nadu level, the top colleges on the PSG coin to Kerala School of Management, Madurai, or SSN Chennai, Anna University, Madras University. In my tribe, on the students, all are main the part. Now practice. So our aim higher is to put our practice on. In the practice, on our only in the next or. 25 days in the next year. So, in the batch and in the end roll, you can put in the description box and registration in the description box. And also, we are going to provide extra classes. So, exam is going to be two days. And then every weekend, we have extra classes. So, you can use the practice-oriented course. So, you can use the affordable fee. In this video, we will discuss the TANSA 2022 MD official question paper. So, data sufficiency. This is the data sufficiency part of the MD attend. So, last year, the MD was the data sufficiency questions. We will be approached by the MD. We will be able to do this. If you have any stance-related videos, you will be able to do this. And you will be able to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All the best students, now we will be able to do this. John, please ask the data sufficiency question. Okay. Data sufficiency type will see few questions. Okay. See, they will give you two statements and they will ask you one question. Okay. Your answer should be A. If the question can be answered, you, know, you should choose an option as A. If the question can be answered with the help of statement one alone. Okay, la. then option B, if the question can be answered with the help of statement 2 alone. If I can answer, if the statement 2 can be answered with the statement 1, option B. If the statement 1 can be answered statement 2, then option A choose panano. Okay, if both... Statement 1... And two are needed to answer the question. Rend me in a way no. Another on the cater question answer pandrathaka in a rend me way no of dina option C nigga choose panikla. Okay, you have to choose what option C. Right? And option D. If the question, if the question cannot be answered even with the help of Both the statements. Actually, in the end statements, one the either the details based on the nala answer panna mudiya the teva illa. That answer panna mudiya the abdi na you have to choose your option D. This is the data sufficiency. Illa, we could put in nala option. Anna one then the nala option one the the option A, B, C, D vary agla. If a C could if the question cannot be answered with the help of uh, both the statements, we could put option D if both statement one and two are needed. So, yepo me data sufficiency start panna the kumadi yedda the kena na option abdi na the niyabo gaich konga. And answer to the point, you can answer to the point. Now, my first question, it is related to blood relation. How was D related to E? Or how was D related to E in Keter Kanga? The first point, what do you want to do? E is the son of A. E is the son of A, who is wife of B. And D is son of C, who is father-in-law of B. 
ओके एंड ऑप्शन बी बी इज ब्रदर ऑफ डी एंड सन ऑफ सी वो इज फादर इन लॉ ऑफ ए वो इज मदर ऑफ ई okay see can you answer this question first read the question and try this question now i'll give you 2 minutes time see first you have to find out the relation what is the question d how was d related to a is your question correct ah so e is the son of a so first part mattum na eduthukuren seriya so e is the son of a oda son so e uh, boy okay appo namak theriyum Who is wife of B? A is the wife of B. Husband and wife na double arrow marks. A is the wife na, but Kandi pa B is the husband. Kama D is the son of C. Okay, see D is the son of C. Who is father-in-law of B? B orda father-in-law. B orda father-in-law. Abdi na Y orda fathera. Okay, C D is the son of C. Apo C or the son da yar D. D is the son of C L D H. And C is the father-in-law of B abdi na Y or the father. Ipe ne kek ranga how was D related to E? Uncle. See with this you can answer it is uncle. Correcta. Now, see with the first statement alone, you can answer easily the relationship between E and D. Now, B is the brother of D. See here, B is the brother of D, and son of C. Listen here carefully. B is the brother of D and the son of C. Okay, who is father-in-law of A? C is. Father in law of Y. So Y or a father in law. So Y and the. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether she is a male or female. Okay. Who is mother of E? So Y is mother of E. And in a kipo D ko relation E ko relationship kando bdi kum diya because I don't know the gender of E. But here I don't know both their genders. So answer for this question is. If the question can be answered with the help of statement one alone, option A is your answer for this question. Okay, now let us move to the next question. Next, Meenu is facing which direction? Meenu is facing which direction? First point, Sita is facing east direction. Sita is facing east direction, and if she turns to her right, she will face Teji. Okay. Now, second question. Meenu is facing. Opposite direction as that of Kail, who is facing Sita. See, this is a question based on direction. Ipo, <coughs> first point. Meenu is facing which direction? Meenu in the direction ke karanga. First, di first data na arthigre. Sita is facing east direction, which is east direction. This is east direction. Correct ta? Sita is facing east direction. If she turns to her right, she will face Teju. In the Pakur Tirumana, she will face Teju. Apo Teju is in this direction. Okay. Apo Sita east direction a face paniranda. Teju in the south direction lal kanga. Now Meenu is facing opposite direction as that of Kail. Okay. See here, Meenu is facing. 
opposite direction is that of Kayal, who is facing Sita. Apo, Kayal, uh, in the direction path it rukanga. See, Minu is facing opposite direction as that of Kayal. Kayal is facing Shrita. Kayal is facing west direction. Chiringla, right? Minu is facing opposite direction as that of Kayal of Dina. So, Minu is facing east direction. Okay, see, Ipo, see, Minu is facing, if a second statement, what do I add to the question? Minu is facing opposite direction as that of Kayal. Anna, if a Minu is direction, Kayal is direction, in the direction, it is real. Who is facing Sita? It is real. But only if you combine these two, you will get the answer. Okay. Right? So, Sita is facing east direction. Then, so, Teju is south direction. That is the north path. Right? Now, Minu is facing opposite direction as that of Kayal, who is facing Sita. So, Kayal is facing, now, so, Kayal is Sita is a relationship. So, that is the Minu direction. Then, so, I have to combine both. If so, combining both of Dina, you know, the option in our room, if both statements 1 and 2 are needed to answer the question, the answer for my question is option C. Okay. Now, next question. Third question. How many cakes does the baker sell on Sunday? First point. On Sunday, he sold... On Sunday, he sold 15 more cakes than he sold the previous day. So, previous day, Saturday, 15 cakes jasthi. Apo sat, 15, Saturday, evlo cakes ni nikhtari yad. Adho terin chaadha, Sunday na itana cakes sell pandra and sorry, kandu pudi kamudiyo. Okay. So, with the statement 1 alone, I cannot answer. Okay. He sold 30 cakes. Next paang in paang. He sold 30 cakes each on Friday and Saturday. Okay, Friday 30 cakes, Saturday 30 cakes. Apo Saturday 30 cakes, Mattu soli na Sunday ko solo mudiya da. Okay, Sat Friday and Saturday ko Mattu na soli kanga Sunday ko solo la statement two la. Okay, wa but Saturday ko Sunday ko la relation na mande first equation la soli kanga. Okay, first statement la vandu pathina Saturday ko Sunday ko la relation soli kanga and second statement la Saturday ethan cakes na soli kanga. Okay, wa apo Saturday 30 cakes na. Second, Sunday when the pathing of dinner, fifteen more cakes could grab up forty five cakes. So, only if I combine both the statements, if both statements one and two are needed to answer the question, is my answer. So, option for this question is option C. Answer for this question is what? Option C. Next, is Mohan taller than Suresh? more yes or no type in the question. So, the Mohan is the Suresh is tall or not. Yes or no type question. Okay. Now, Sankar is of the same height as Mohan and Suresh. Next. Suresh is not Shorter than Shankar. See, Mohan taller than Suresh. Hello, students. Tanset 2023 20, order super fast crash course. Immediate and enroll panga. Definite time the crash course and will useful arco. In the crash course, you enroll panga. Kill a description box and a registration link put perko. Adu povi, you can contact directly double eight seven double zero four six zero eight zero. All the best students. Learn to lead. We make winners who lead.